Hey y'all, it's Christmas time here in ye old earth town and this couch tater's obsessed. Once the tree goes up, all I can think about is baking and crafting and eating a lot of stuff. So anyway, I got some plates from Goodwill and I wanna turn them into some cute Christmas platters to put the treats on for the eating. To do that, I'm gonna make some vinyl stencils with my Cricut, put them on the underneath side of the plate, and then paint, you know, like you would a stencil. Easy peas and carrots. First thing we gotta do is take some measurements of the plate to figure out how big we want different parts of the stencil to be, and then go online, find some free designs to use, cause I'm cheap and we're here to craft, not spend money. And then, yeah, we're gonna go do that now. Okay. Here's my plate from Goodwill. I got like four of these, plus a giant one for like $5 or something. And I'm gonna do a design in the center. So it looks like we can do four inches square for that and two inches tallish for some designs to go around the outside edge. If you're anything like me, you're gonna write that down immediately because you're gonna forget the numbers before you write them down and then you will have to remeasure and rewrite them down. They don't call me Goldfish Brain McGee for nothing. What? Okay, I'm gonna load some vinyl on the mat now and get that started in the Cricut so that we can come back in 25 years and it'll be ready. I'm gonna use removable vinyl so that it comes off without having to scrape stuff up and damage all of our hard work. And we're gonna mirror the text when we cut it out so that it's the right way round when you're looking through the plate because we're gonna be painting on the bottom of the plate. I can be smart sometimes, surprising myself. Time for my favorite part. We're gonna weed everything, peel up all the parts we don't want. It's almost as satisfying as peeling a sunburn. It's not quite the same, but it's way less gross and way more acceptable. So we're just gonna go through and remove all the parts where we want paint to be. And I'm gonna cut apart each individual design. Weeding this removable vinyl is challenging because it's not very sticky underneath, so everything wants to come up once you start peeling it. That means the gingerbread eyes, bow ties, candy cane stripes, everything wants to come up and not stick to the paper. But once I get everything weeded, I'm gonna use the transfer tape to put it on the plate. I'm gonna take the backing off of the transfer tape, put it on the vinyl, and use that to get the backing off of the vinyl so that we have the sticky side exposed. And we can finally put that on our plate. The bottom of this plate is not very flat, and the sides of the plate are curved up in these scallops. So you really kind of have to make sure everything's touching the glass. And when I put the side pieces on, I'm really having to make sure in all the ridges, everything's totally adhered so we're not gonna get any paint seeping underneath the stencil. The gingerbread men, I made all these side pieces like two inches tall exactly. I should have made them a little smaller. The gingerbread men's little feet were kind of hard to get sealed in against the edge of the base of the plate, but we made it work. It won't make you sit through me peeling a million times, but here's the layout that we're doing. As a spicy boy. That's too hot. I'm gonna try to drink it again immediately. So hot, but so good. We got 
It's so hard to pick up this plate without making a whole bunch of noise, so just appreciate me being ginger here, okay? Stickers are on. Front, front ways. That's why we did the mirror on the text. Brilliant. Um, one thing I kind of realized, it's going to be weird if the gingerbread men are red or green, I feel like. So I might do them in black, which I happen to have. I might not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But all of these paints are enamels. So it's basically acrylic paint, but it's dishwasher safe. And you can paint on glass. Looks like you are supposed to bake these. Which I did not realize. And I don't know if I will do that or not. But if you wanted to bake your stuff and you knew it was bake safe, then you could have dishwasher safe painted dishes. I'm probably not gonna do that because I have no idea if these are bake safe. Oven safe? That's the normal way to say that, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, a placement's not perfect, but it's okay. I did have to rip one off and put it back on. Totally fine. We're just gonna wing it and see how it goes. So here's my train of thought with picking colors for this. Merry Christmas could be red or green. The font kind of makes me think of a vintage -y situation, so I wanted to go with the red because I feel like that fits better. I did end up using the black because I felt like it was a little bit too bold for this project. Some things definitely have to be red, like candy canes, and some things definitely have to be green, like leaves of plants, holly, mistletoe, whatever this is. So starting off at that place and realizing that we've got an even number of things around this plate, so we have the opportunity here to just alternate red-green all the way around. This does leave us with painting the gingerbread man green, but because we got the pattern going, I feel like it works out. Yeah, maybe you wouldn't want to eat a green gingerbread man, but we got a pattern going and that works. I painted everything here before peeling anything off. I would suggest painting one item and peeling it off immediately. Otherwise, you're gonna lose pieces of your paint like I did here on the bottom of my C. I finished painting three plates. I really think only one of them turned out and maybe like half a one. And even then that's being kind of generous, but you know, I didn't even know if this was possible to do. I just wanted to try it. I didn't see anybody do it. I didn't look up any instructions. So I'm gonna take it as a win for a wing in a project because those usually do not work out for me. The first one, I didn't even take off all the vinyl because That's what happens when you let the paint dry before you peel the vinyl off. Lesson learned number one. So yeah, I ditched this guy and moved on to plate number two, where I did one layer of paint and then ripped the vinyl off immediately. This went pretty well, but you can see like this gingerbread man's not too bad. This guy's a little, uh, looking like a gingerbread monster over here. It's really difficult to peel off little eyeballs and stuff when everything's wet all around it. So that was number two. Learned some more lessons. The final plate was this guy. It's still not perfect. A little smudgy because it was a lot of paint and you know it smears when you start pulling tape off of paint sometimes. I peeled off all of the face and everything off the gingerbread man before painting it, which, yeah, it's not as obvious that it's a gingerbread man, but whatever. Especially with the mistletoe or whatever, taking off all those parts really helped, and it still kind of looks like something Christmassy, I guess, so I'm happy with it. But yeah, learned a lot of lessons. Not sure I would attempt this again with some without looking up some other tutorial or something on how to do this, because... It's not great, but you know, 
put some cookies on there, you're not gonna see half of it anyway. And all people are gonna see is red and green. It's cream smashy. We're gonna be doing more videos more frequently, improving our track record here of, I don't know how many months between this video and the last video, so don't give up. Keep a lookout for those. Hope to see you there. <laughs> or hope to, hope, hope you see me there. And maybe I'll see you comment there or something. It's like a, as awkward as I could possibly say anything. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it made you feel a little Christmassy. Make you want to do some Christmas crafts or decorate your tree or bake some cookies or something fun. Because that's what it made me want to do. And now I'm going to spend all weekend baking probably. But I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. See you soon.